Well, good morning, everybody. Today is a rain day. It is going to rain all day. So, I got up about 4.30. By 5 a.m., it was really thunder showering. Did that for quite a few hours. Now it's dried up. It's spitting and sputtering, but it's supposed to start pouring any time now. So, I'm not going to be cutting any wood because all the wood's outside and all the saws are outside. Wood's under tarps, but all the saws are outside. So, I guess I'm just going to paint this today. At least, you know, get something accomplished. Uh, paint the outside. I'm going to do it a two-tone, see how it looks. I mean, you can always change it if I don't like the way it looks. But, I'm going to shake this paint up and get painting, guys. For a nickel, I'll let you help. Well, I'm not digging the color. We'll see after I get a couple more coats on it. And then with the trim a little lighter and the door or the drawer front white or not white, a light tan, same as the color of the walls. We'll see what it looks like. I don't want to spend 30 bucks on another can of paint. Like I said, I'm, I'm to the end of my budget. So we're going to live with this down the road. If we can't live with it, we'll do it a different color. So I'm going to go to the Amish store and get a pizza for lunch. Cheap one. Small. I gave you a couple seconds just to relax and watch a little bit of the sunset with me. Didn't get a lot accomplished today. I got the cabinet painted. Um, it rained all night and uh, into the late morning. Then it off and on showered till afternoon. Then it rained for another four hours plus, whatever it was. So there was really no cutting wood. Didn't get to trim out the, the first cabinet we built. I think we're going to get to the second cabinet, the water cabinet, tomorrow. Uh, and get the trim on the uh, the first cabinet. Then we can get those. I think something's over here flying at me. Then we can get those put into the van, build the bench. I can get the tops done, cut the sinkhole out, and button it up. And that's then it's maybe a little more painting. A little more trim work. Um, that's it. We're, we're really close to the end of this build. Um, obviously, I mean, there, I could, you could go on forever making, you know, things better or perfect or changing this, changing that. But we're just trying to get a nice build done. Been in the heat way too long. Of course, today, my buddy asked me if I wanted to stay on and give him a hand with his house for a while. I am contemplating that. It's awful hot here, though. I So I don't know. We'll figure it out. I got a couple more days left of this anyways. Uh, so we're going to see you in the morning. We'll finish up the cabinets or try to get the cabinets finished up. 
I think it's supposed to be a very nice weather day. Uh, still hot, but you know, no, no rain. Uh, a lot better to work in. So, okay, we're going to see you in the morning. Oh, good morning, guys. I've been working for a little while, but I got rid of the last clip. I decided not to uh, include it. There's me complaining. Uh, well, so we, uh, Hickory lost another chicken, so he's got. He's been working with the chickens, trying to figure out how they're getting out in to his coop. So I'm building myself my wardrobe. So I got to figure out how to get it up here, where I'm going to want it, which is right there. I'll fix it, and then we will uh, try to get some measurements and try to figure out how in the heck we're going to do this thing. So let's go ahead and drill a hole. Hope it's right there. You should see. And that does not catch the wood or the metal. Well, let's just see if there may, there may be no metal there. Now there's metal across there. Maybe it'll hold it up. That's all we're trying to do right now. Just hold it up. Oh, this is the fun stuff, guys. Ugh. And of course, nothing on the ceiling is flat. Yeah, that's pulling the wood right out. I could be able to do it there. Now let's see if I can hit metal up here. Nope. All right, guys. Well, I'm putting this. Uh, Taking this off for now, and I'm going to keep going at it, but that's what we're trying to do today. Trying to figure out how to get it up there. Well, you know what? Let's see if there is metal in there. Oh, I thought there was metal right there. There's no metal right there. Oh, you dummy. <laughs> the stringer's right here. That's just the, for the, that was just for the carpet. Oh, man. I tell you, okay, let's try this again, guys. Let's try this again. All right, right there. I think I got through the in the middle. It'll be amazing. I hate square headed screws.
Okay, but it will hold it up. Okay, so now we're going to have to just try to make some, uh, try to find a, like a plumb bob. Put it down and we'll try to measure out where, how far the wall is to see where we need to get this one. That's going to be pretty strong up there though. Okay, well, I'm going to get a plumb bob and try to see if I can't figure out the measurements. Yep, that's going to be it. Okay, so I built the box. Let's kind of test fit it. See what we got here, guys. Sorry about that view. Okay, so where is my starter hole? Right there. Okay, something turned out really wrong. The angle of the two by twos. How do I fix that? I mean, I guess I really don't have to. This does, the top doesn't have to be completely up against the uh, frame of the, the vehicle. So when I do the templates for the cardboard, I just have to come out a little further. I mean, I've got places to screw here. I could go screw a couple places there, two here. Yeah, I think we're kind of good. I think it's going to work out all right. Wish I'd got a tape measure. Figure out about the gap here. Guess I really don't need to card cover that though. I mean, what the heck? Just underneath the cabinet. I would like to shave that down somehow so I could get this 2x4 tight to the or 2x2 two two tight to the wall there. But yeah, that looks uh, actually pretty pretty square to the uh, the bed. Yeah, I'm going to try to trim this 2x2 two two down so we can get it into the, uh, in a little further, a little flatter against the vehicle. I think that's going to look okay. Side templates will be kind of tough to make. Yep, okay. I'm going to climb out of here and uh, oh, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Be right back.
Okay, so got it all framed up, trimmed out. I cut a bottom piece out there and trimmed it down because I can't put the bottom on until it's up. And then when I get it up on the ceiling, I will uh, do the sides because got to be in, installed to do the sides. So let's see if somehow I can get it into my original pilot hole back here that I had. Why does it no longer fit against the ceiling? Oh, I didn't cut enough out. I thought it would go all the way to the where I had it before, but it won't. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to take this one out. And we're going to try to get it up here square as we can. And that's pretty square right there. Now we're going to drill another hole. And it's up, guys. What do you know? Your piece fell out. Okay, let's try to get this thing stuck to the roof. That did not get into the roof. Well, let's try again. What the heck? No wonder the bit. This drill, I tell you, I, I, Milwaukee. I'm done with Milwaukee tools. I'll never buy another Milwaukee tool. My buddy has got the uh, just the Harbor Freight Bauer, whatever they are. I mean, I don't like Har Harbor Freight stuff. I never have. But. Yeah, I use his drill, and the bit never falls out. I use mine, the bit falls out every time. Okay, that one, I think I'm in. I didn't think I'd be able to bleed my head under here, but on the pit mattress, but I think I will be able to. There, we're in the ceiling. Well, now I won't be able to with the mattress, but that's what I figured, so that's why we're only putting one on one side. Okay, let's climb forward here. Try to get two in the front. It's going to be a little tougher. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with that in the way. I need a 90 degree angle drill. Now, the stringer is right there. Let's try. I don't think I got it in the middle. Yeah, I had a, I used to always have DeWalt tools, but 
Oh yeah, that's in there good. I used to have dwelt tools and I never had a problem with them. But I bought these in Colorado. I bought these in Colorado at the Ace Hardware and I had to pay double price for them because it was in the middle of, you know, the mountains. And they just, they never have been good to me. The wall tools, I never had a problem with. Okay, we've got four good screws. Okay, look at that. I'm that thing ain't gonna go anywhere. Okay. Uh oh. That front one's not in the metal. The back is. The front is not. I thought I thought that one went in good. Or maybe it's Man, that feels solid, but it, it, there's a wiggle in there. I'll just try to keep putting, I'll just put as many as I can in there. I got a bunch of these two inch screws, so that's the only thing I need them for. And that. I think I'm moving to the rear back, so I'm going to put four in there. What the heck? This thing ain't coming out of the roof. Definitely wouldn't want it coming down when I'm sleeping. Oh, I'd be on my feet. No big deal. But, but driving, that would be really sucky if this thing fell. Oh. Well, yeah, put a couple well, back here. I can't put any more, but that is that is solid, guys. I mean, that ain't going nowhere. Okay, I, I guess I could screw some into here and just see what I hit, just to give it some kind of strength. I mean, it's. <laughs> What am I hitting there? What was at that height? I don't know. I don't know what's at that height. There should be nothing back here. Hopefully I didn't go through the side of the wall. Oh, man, guys, let's go check. No, I didn't go through the side of the van. I don't know what I'm getting into there. Okay, it's up there. Time to make the templates. Well, we already put one good coat on them, so we're just going to put a second coat, let them dry. Now I've decided I do want to put a front on the wardrobe, little doors that will open upward towards the ceiling. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and cut those. Unfortunately, they're warped.
So we're going to have to let them overnight try to flatten them out, see what we can do. But these panels turned out really nice. I'm really, really excited about how it turned out. Well, folks, today was a pretty good day. The heat wasn't as bad. There was a nice breeze. It was still hot, but the humidity wasn't so high. Uh, I'm really kind of happy how that, we'll call it a wardrobe, I guess. my, You know, it's where I'm going to put all my clothing. Uh, turned out, I mean, it. It really fits nice. I uh, got the panels all cut, the sides and the bottom painted. On the front, I'm going to have flip-up lids, whatever you want to call them. And the kind of like beadboard that I'm using was warped a little. So I've got them, uh, some weights on. I'm trying to get them back to shape. They look pretty good right now, so hopefully after, over the night, the humidity will come in, the moisture will soak in, and then we'll get them out in the sun with the with their what like they are, with the weights on them and everything, and dry them out, and they they won't be curved. So I can paint them, affix them to the front with hinges and all that good stuff. But uh, we're getting close. Uh, we still have to do the water cabinet, the uh, we'll call it the kitchen cabinet is uh, all done i've just got to put the uh, i'm making leather or actually suede door drawer pulls i got the leather last night i just have to cut them and attach them i'm just gonna wait till we get the other one done then i do everything at the same time hopefully we can get that cabinet done tomorrow uh, or pretty close then I can put countertops on them, put my, I think it's called FRP on top. It's a thin, like, plastic uh, kind of stuff, vinyl. I don't know what it is, really. Waterproof, though. And then I'll cut out the one for the water cabinet. We'll put the big sink in. You know, I'll get it painted, and, and we got a little trim work, and that's, that's it. So hopefully in the next couple days, this build will be finished. Hopefully. Um, I'm still thinking I may stay around and help Hickory for maybe at least a week or something. It's inside work, so it'll be a little cooler in the air conditioning than out here. But I am ready to get in. Uh, I'm really ready to get in. I bought some horse bedding pellets today for the bathroom. Uh, you could use them in a composting toilet if you want. When any moisture hits them, they turn to sawdust to absorb the moisture. So they'll dry anything that's in the bag out. And they're supposedly uh, naturally odor eliminating. So, you know, that's a good thing if you have one in your van and you're driving somewhere to get rid of it. All right, thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking, sharing, all those good things. And as always, you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, where you are, wherever you are. And we'll see you next time on Jelly Bean Outdoors.